Avante Logan has had five abortions and says she's not ashamed. I'm proud of being able to access abortion. I am proud of the abortions I've had because I, I wouldn't be here today. Logan has an 11 year old daughter and no plans for more children. She juggles motherhood with a job she says she loves. Any history of fainting spells or guiding other women through the abortion process at Whole Women's Health, an abortion clinic in Charlottesville, Virginia. It's not just a person having an abortion, it's a person speaking up and taking control for the rest of their life, how they saw it and how they planned it. Getting an abortion has been increasingly difficult in the United States since June, when the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Now, six months later, 24 states have banned abortions or are likely to do so. I truly didn't think that that right would be taken away from us. More than 34 million women of reproductive age live in states where abortions are currently banned. That's forced many to travel more than 2,000 miles to reach this clinic. To pack up and drive across the country because, you know, no one will see you, especially in a place like Texas, where it's like 18 hours to get out of the state or more. Stacy Ballantyne moved away from Indiana after the state legislature passed an abortion ban. She used to work for an abortion clinic there and would have risked jail time if she'd stayed. Now she works at Whole Women's Health in Virginia. I mean, it's crazy. There's no reason that we can't help people um, regardless of where we live. In the Midwest, Illinois is among the few states where abortions remain protected. These women with the Chicago Abortion Fund work to help women from abortion ban states travel to Illinois for the procedure. We provide logistical, uh, financial, and emotional support, so helping affirm to folks that the, um, the difficulty for which right now it is to access abortion is not a reflection of the morality of their decision. I can also follow up with you via text message. Despite these efforts, researchers estimate there were 10,000 fewer legal abortions in the U.S. in the first two months after Roe v. Wade fell. Anti-abortion activists say that's a significant victory and have vowed to pass more abortion restrictions. The battle over abortions is playing out now in state legislatures and courtrooms, affecting one of the most intimate decisions of a person's life. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Charlottesville, Virginia.